There is a new player tonight, hard to believe, but there is, in the Democratic presidential sweepstakes. Billionaire activist Tom Steyer says he will fight what he calls the hostile corporate takeover of our democracy. This comes as the front runner puts his financial records in the spotlight. Correspondent Peter Ducey has specifics tonight from the Hill. The former vice president calls himself middle class Joe. In Washington, that's not meant as a compliment. But since leaving office, middle class Joe has been making top dollar. Book payments and speaking engagements added up to a ten and a half million dollar raise between 2016 and 2017. And more money for the Bidens meant more money for charity. 9.2 percent of his salary in 2017, a million dollars more than the one and a half percent of his salary in 2016. The 76 year old hasn't let go of first place yet, but the Democratic field just won't shrink because the day after one dropped out, another jumped in. My name's Tom Steyer. I'm running for president. The billionaire Steyer teased a run earlier this year, and the platform was to impeach. I'm strengthening my commitment to need to impeach. But the word impeachment was missing from Steyer's announcement video. I think what people believe is that the system has left them. I think people believe that the corporations have bought the democracy, that the politicians don't care about or respect them. The Trump campaign responded, quote, it doesn't say much for the whole Democrat field that the number one Democrat donor took a look around and decided that there's no one he can support. And Democrats sound just as excited. Elizabeth Warren tweeted, quote, the Democratic primary should not be decided by billionaires. Bernie Sanders shares the sentiment and is also discounting Joe Biden's recent apology for past remarks about civility with segregationists. Joe has talked about his early days in the Senate when uh, things were civil. Uh, but underneath that so-called civility, there was an incredible oppression and ugliness and attacks against the African-American community. But the Bidens don't believe much damage has been done. The American people know Joe Biden. They know his values. They know what he stands for. And uh, they didn't buy it. Something else the American people know about Joe Biden, he was once the poorest man in the Senate. It's something he talks about on the campaign trail all the time. So now we wait to see if he keeps talking about it after supporters and opponents have seen his eight-figure income. Brett? Peter Ducey up on Capitol Hill. Peter, thanks.